Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. So, today you'll see I have a very neutral kind of look with a very bright lip. As you've seen by the title, it's gonna be a get ready with me. I'm just gonna chat a lot of crap and do my whole face in front of you. I didn't do my brows on camera and I didn't put my lashes on, on camera, but everything else I did on camera, you will see it there. Just a chill kind of video of me chatting. You can leave details down below according to what I talk about. Give me feedback and whatever. Let me know down below what you think of this type of video as well. Because if I, if you enjoy them, I'll do lots more. I just wanted to try it out and see what happens. It's supposed to be a bronzy kind of eye. It's, I know it's not going to be everyone's bronzy, but for me, this is bronzy. This is like, I don't know. I love it. I love how it turned out. I just really like it. This is my summer being on holidays, want to get a little bit glam. This is the kind of look I would tend to do. Minus the false lashes. But we're not going anywhere anytime soon. So I'm doing it now for no reason. So yeah, if you want to see any up close pictures of this look, then my Instagram is linked down below. I will be posting the pictures up there sometime after the video goes live. I couldn't tell you what day it's going to be. I couldn't tell you exactly when because I've so much stuff going to be uploaded. I've had to rearrange my entire schedule over these weeks because I got my Kaleidos Club Nebula palette in the mail. You might already see that video. I don't know. I don't know when anything is going up. I'm hoping you'll already have seen the video. That's the plan. So if you want to see how I got this and all the random things I talk about, then keep on watching. So just zoomed you guys in a little bit just so you can see a little bit better. I'm so pale. So we'll see how this goes because I'm going to be doing a little bit of a bronzery kind of look. So I just popped my hair back, zoomed you in. The only thing I have on my face is my Embryolise moisturizer, which I always use. And we're going to start straight away. We're going to even do primer together. That's how, that's how chill this is going to be. So yeah, I'm using the e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer. It's a newer product for me. I've used it a couple of times. Really like it. It's really nice. I'm just going to take a little bit on my hands. This is going to be a very handsy kind of makeup. It's not going to be a very uh, technical kind of makeup. I like using my fingers to do my makeup. So so for foundation, again, I'm going to use my fingers. You can use a brush, sponge, whatever way you want to do it. I'm going to use my MAC Face and Body Foundation because this is what I tend to bring away on holidays with me. I don't know why I'm doing a holiday makeup. I just am. I feel like it. I'm literally taking some in my fingers, but I also have white, which I should have actually opened before, in the Face and Body Foundation. Just because I'm so pale, the lightest shade in face and body doesn't match me. So I do a decent amount of the, the actual colour and then like three or four drops of the white. You can give it a good mix on your fingers. Sometimes I do it on the back of my hand and then go from there. But I want this to be nice and easy and quick. So let's go straight in. This should do the whole face. But this is like the quickest, simplest way. Super natural kind of skin. I've done a video, it's like my natural skin foundation um, or foundation techniques using this where I go into a lot more detail about it if you want to check that out. I like to give a little pat in as well just to make sure it's all nice and blended. So it doesn't cover a whole amount but it does even the skin out a little bit like you can still see my, my marks for my blemishes here but that's what concealer's for which is what we're going to use next. And I'm going to go into my fave. I'm using a lot of my favourites actually that I had for 2020 in this video because they are my favourites. I'm using my Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in the shade 05 and popping that under the eyes which is most important. Around my nose, going to do a little bit on my nose because I have a little bit of a breakout. Not, it's not a breakout, it's kind of gone now. But yeah, I just decided that I wanted to actually do a little get ready with me because I don't do them and I'm not going anywhere and it's nice to just play with makeup but for no apparent reason other than I feel like it. I really wanted to do this look as well because it's a look that I don't wear ever really unless I'm on holidays just because I like how it looks when I have a little bit more of a tan. I obviously don't have a tan right now but I still wanted to do it. I'm probably going to do some faux freckles. I have um, my freck um, freckle product what do you call it freckle thing and yes I do always do my concealer with my finger <laughs> unless my nails have grown really long and I can't get in there I'll use a brush but I really prefer to use my fingers I feel like I get the coverage best that way and it blends in quicker that way for me so I don't do like big highlighting or anything like that because I'm gonna bronze anyway and I'm already pale enough I think so I don't need to do that so I just use a if it's a fresher blemish like this, I actually don't apply it straight to the blemish. I kind of go around it just so I don't contaminate the product. I know it gets contaminated anyway from the skin, but just to not further contaminate it with actual 
with an actual blemish and I don't mind still seeing marks through my skin. So I really want to use a cream blush as well because I do tend to use creams a lot when I'm on holidays and I'm going to use my Bobbi Brown Pot Rouge for lips and cheeks in Fresh Melon which is like a peachy kind of colour and I'm just taking that on my fingers because I always do that with cream blusher. And I'm doing this first obviously because it'll blend better with the creams already down before I set my makeup. I like to apply it with a finger and then always make sure I've got like a clean finger in case I need to blend it out a bit more. And I'm going to bring it a little bit higher up on my cheek as well. Just to give that sunburny kind of look. I always take a little bit of blush down my nose as well, especially if I'm using creams and especially if I want to be bronzy looking because when I'm in the sun, I don't go brown. I don't get a tan. I don't get that kind of a colour. I get like a pink kind of, like, like that colour. That's the kind of colour I go. Like I will go a bit more tanned after a while. So we look very weird just like this and super shiny. So I'm going to set my face and I'm going to use this guy here, which is a new addition to my collection. This is the NYX hashtag no filter finishing powder. This is the shade porcelain. It's a touch dark for me. But because I'm setting my entire face with it, I don't mind. And because I will be bronzing up anyway, I don't really mind. So I'm just taking this on an e.l.f. complexion brush. It's like a giant powder brush. And just go to town. This still gives a glow though. So that's why I really want to use it. I really, really like this powder. Especially I think when I am a bit more tan in the summer. Because even, even though we're not going away, I'll still be sitting out or going for walks. So I'll get a little bit of colour. This is the kind of powder I'll be using a lot because it is a touch dark for me now, but this would be a bit more of a match for me in the summer. Whilst I'm applying all this stuff, I'm gonna kind of chat away about random crap. So yeah, um, I've just been filming a lot because we've been out of work, not out of work, like I, I still have a job. It's just we're not in work. I This is what I've been doing is filming lots. Still waiting on my It's Freaking Bats palette. And my Arcana palette from Shroud, which is completely fine. I like. I don't care when I get that palette, once I get the palette. Like, I don't care if it's October when I get that palette. I don't care if it's been a year. I don't care once I have it in my hands. So, I'm not complaining, I don't mind. Is there anything you guys have been doing to, you know, past time? Any random things you're doing? Any skills you're learning? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I'm not learning any new skills. I'm doing what I normally do, which is this. Just a lot more of it because I have time. Um, oh, I've been doing paint by numbers. That's a new thing I've been doing, which has been fun. My boyfriend for my birthday last year, like my birthday's in June. So last year got me two paint by numbers. One is like a the Enchanted Rose from Beauty and Beast, it's like that. The other one is like this really cool abstract looking, like it's like a girl with an umbrella and it's all orange and it's abstract, it's, it's a bit weird looking. I'm doing that one first just because I feel like it. I'm using my Fenty bronzer in the shade in the sun it's my fave love love her and i'm gonna take this brush here's a 137 from mac i'm just gonna go crazy but yeah i have been doing that i was doing some of it last night it takes so long it's huge now to be fair but like holy moly does that take a long time i'm only on i'm only halfway through color number four <laughs> <laughs> and there's 21 colors and I've had it since June and I, I kind of crack away at it every now and again but my god does it take a long time now I mean to be fair I only spend about an hour on it every time I've, I've used it just taking a little bit of that bronzer as well down my nose I just always use the same brush because I like it to be all wispy and soft no harshness really except on the eyes and the lips that's where all the harshness comes in but I don't really like my skin to look harsh i lied i'm using five brushes but whatever i forgot about my bronzer brush <laughs> okay so we're going to do a little bit of highlighter now and i'm going to use my inglot sparkling face dust face eyes and body dust in the shade 07 i think it's rubbed off the back but i'm pretty sure it's 07 it's what i had in my favorites of 2020 and you the tiniest like tiniest wisp of this i'm just going to take whatever's in this this whole tub is going to last me my entire life i'm going to be buried with this so I'm taking that on a MAC 240S brush. Tiny bit, little dab. I'm top it off and that's gonna go on the high points of my cheeks. Cause you can always add more. You see what I mean? <laughs> okay, so now I'm gonna use my little freck. Look how teeny tiny this is. I only got the small size anyway because I wasn't sure if I was gonna fully use it. So I was like, I'll just get the little one. It was on sale anyway, so why not? And we're gonna do this now. I can always go in with powder and blot them down if I need to as well. Naturally, I do get my freckles more so around my nose and up onto my forehead. 
I know everyone's not into faux freckles. I don't mind it. I still have to get used to it. I'm still not used to seeing myself with faux freckles, so <laughs> we'll see. I have still have to perfect how I put them on, so whatever. For my brows, I'm going to use my MAC Shape and Shade Brow Tint. It's like a pen on one side and a powder on the other side, and I use both sides. Normally what I do is I take this, go through generally, like it's a big stubby kind of thing, so you're not gonna get like hugely precise. So just get a little bit of color down for the general idea, and then add your texture and definition in with the pen on the other side. So I'm gonna jump off, do that, and I'll come back in a sec. Okay, brows are on, we look funky now because we've got our nice brow on, nice bit of a bitch brow, but whatever. I'm gonna go in for the eyes, super simple. I have three products one brush, I may add a bit of bronzer to my eye, but like, whatever. You'll, you're you're going to see how quick and simple this is. The reason why I do this a lot, especially when I'm on holidays and just want to get out and start enjoying my evening when I'm on holidays. So I'm taking a little bit of my Groundwork Paint Pot from MAC. It's just like a, it's darker than my skin. It's probably not going to be super dark on everyone, but it's deep enough on me, for me anyway, to be a bit of a brown smoky eye. And I'm just taking this on a base shadow brush from Real Techniques and just popping that all over the eye. All over the lid. Whole thing. I haven't even used any eyeshadow primer because technically these work as eyeshadow primers, so I don't really need it. And then just whatever is left on the brush, I'm just gonna flick it underneath the eye. Just using the tip of the brush. And then just put whatever is left on it again, just go around the edges and buff that out. Buff it up as high as you want. Bring it out a little bit as well, whatever way you want to do it. It's the beauty of this eye. Like, even this, I would just throw mascara on and go, this is enough for me. But I want to be a bit more sparkly than this. So I've been trying to watch, like, as much of my TV shows that I have. Because, like, when I go back to work, I don't get time to watch them. So anytime I'm, like, say, when I'm normally filming, I only usually film one eye at a time. Or each step on one eye. So I... When I'm doing the other eye or I'm finishing off my face off camera or something like that, I'll do, I'll have something on in the background. And I've been trying to catch up on a lot of shows that maybe like I haven't finished completely or I'm a few seasons behind. So currently I'm watching Once Upon a Time, which I did start watching like ages ago when it was still running. I think it was on like season five or six or something like that when I started watching it. And it's finished now on season seven or eight. I'm on season three at the minute, but I got up as far as the end of season three, I think. And then I stopped because I think something like The Walking Dead had started back or something like that. I also have to catch up on The Walking Dead. I have a lot. I have a lot to catch up on. And I'm also trying to watch movies that like I've either never seen before. I'm still trying to watch a lot of horror movies because that's my niche. I like I love a horror movie. I watched there recently over Valentine's Day weekend. Um... Midsummer by Ari Aster, the second movie by the same guy who did Hereditary. And Hereditary messed me up a little bit. I did not like being in the dark in that after after watching that movie. That really got to me. And it's it's difficult for a lot of things to get to me like that, but that got to me. I am just gonna take now actually before while I chat away, I'm gonna take Ritz from Colourpop. It's one of their super shock shadows. Super sparkling, kind of a tan colour, kind of in the same tone as what we have going on already. And I'm just going to take my finger and just press this on the lid. But yeah, I I had been meaning to watch... Look how sparkly and wet that looks. Oh, gorgeous. Um, I've been meaning to watch Midsummer for ages because I really wanted to see it. And also it kind of... I loved Hereditary so much, so I really wanted to watch it. And I watched it. Now, I wouldn't say it was like scary, scary. It depends on what scares you though, obviously. For me, though, I wasn't afraid watching this movie. I was disturbed watching it. I was... I was just like, ugh. 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 Every, every time, like, ugh. Yeah, like, it was brilliant. I will say, though, that same day, as soon as I finished watching it, I got a severe migraine. Now, I do get migraines every now and again, the odd time. I used to get them a lot, but I get them only every now and again. I got such a bad migraine until like the very next morning. I still had the migraine. And <laughs> I kept thinking to myself, I was like, I know it's probably just me, but like, what if it was the movie? What if the movie gave me migraine? So I have popped that on. I've kind of, whatever was left on my finger, I just kind of dragged through my crease a little bit because I don't really mind. So yeah, that's kind of most of the shadow done already. I'm going to take this guy here though from my inner corner just because I want to use it. I feel like it. This is the Ingla I AMC Pure Pigment 
in the shade 115 and I'm just going to take this on a like angled fluffy duo fiber brush whatever brush you want to use you can use your finger if you want to don't really mind um I'm going to take a tiny bit of that this is like a pinky goldy greeny kind of color which I just think will look pretty cool with this sort of vibe because since everything else is pretty neutral this will have a tiny pop so yeah let me know down below if there's any like horror movies I should check out that really freaked you out is there any I shouldn't check out because they freaked you out so much like do you think nobody should see this movie um I like most horror movies so things like insidious don't scare me though I didn't I didn't find insidious scary like the jump scares are scary but they're jump scares you know they're gonna get you but that's you just jumping that's not you freaking freaking out I freaked out after hereditary I was like oh every time I walked into a dark room and when I would like stay in my boyfriend's house we it's a converted attic and it still looks like an attic though like it's a nice attic but like it's still an attic and a lot of the end of that movie happens in an attic and I was like I don't like sleeping here right now <laughs> so yeah I'm just going to take my Inglot Cole pencil in the shade 05 it's just a nude whatever nude pencil works for you just popping that in my waterline I do have an app on my phone called Letterbox. I don't know if anyone's ever heard of it and it basically is all like movies and tv shows but you can make lists on it which I really like I love a list love me a list and on that I've got one list that is horror movies I have watched just so I, I can you know look back and be like oh I've seen all these movies I'm currently on 172 horror movies that I've seen and the other side I've done is horror movies I need to watch so I'm kind of going through them and I have I have about 172 on that um the ones I haven't seen so yeah let me know and I will always add to my list I love a good horror movie and this year, obviously, for October, I'll be picking out my 31 movies to watch. I might do a video on it as well, of what I picked. So now I'm just taking, this is Coffee Pencil from MAC. It's one of their cold pencils as well. And I'm just kind of tight lining around the eye a little bit. And I'm going to just run this a little bit through my lashes. Because I am going to pop, pop on false lashes, which I wouldn't normally do if I was going on holidays or anything like that. I would never wear false lashes on holidays because I normally have my uh, lash lift done. So my lashes look amazing, but they don't right now because I can't get that done. And there's no point in me getting it done right now. So we're going to be going the falsy route. Okay, so everything is pretty much done on the eyes except mascara and lashes. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to do mascara on camera and then do this off camera because this is the Clinique Lash Power Mascara. It's the one I'm currently using now as I'm filming this, but some of my videos I filmed in... January so you'll see me use a different mascara there but at the minute I'm currently using this I love the little wand it's so cute so we're just gonna whack that on do you guys have like 10 mascaras that you use like all at once not at like put 10 mascaras on your eye at once but I mean do you have like 10 that you have open at the minute that you're using or do you do what I do and only open one and only use that one until it's finished <laughs> and then move on to your next one because I have a good few mascaras that I've gotten in like Advent calendars, glossy boxes, gift or purchase kind of jazz, and some I've bought as well. But I've so many of them that I just don't ever open them until I'm going to use them. Because I know that they'll dry up as soon as I, that they'll start to dry up as soon as I open them. I love this little wand as well for bottom lashes. I love a small wand for putting on my bottom lashes. So I've couple of pairs of lashes here that I don't really know which ones to choose I've got these ones which I've already worn the BH Cosmetics false lashes in the style N105 they're really nice kind of choppy bit spiky bit cool I think they'd be pretty and then I've these ones here which are newer these are the Sosu vacation lashes it's a, du a double pack I've got the shade paradise and bliss don't know if these are too much I'm gonna jump off I'm gonna pop them on anyway whichever ones I decide but I'll have to decide I'm not too sure yet okay so I have lashes on and surprisingly I went with the so Sumi lashes I went with the style paradise these ones on top they have a really big like flare on the side but super soft and wispy and I put I tried I just popped it on like without any glue and I was just like oh I like you so we're gonna go lips and we're gonna do orange of sorts now I would use the Jeffree Star, uh, what is it, Coral Fixation. Came out with like the Thirsty Collection, I think it was. Um, I bought this a million years ago when it was on sale on Beauty Bay. 
and that's the one I tend to bring on holidays with me. It's super bright now. I would actually pair this with a red pencil, not an orange pencil, just to knock it down slightly for my skin tone. But I do really like this. But I don't want to use this on camera. For a reason. So, I also have this one here, which I'm also not going to use, but just as another option. This is the NYX Matte Lipstick in the shade Indie Flick. Bright orange. That's the kind of vibe we're going for, bright orange. But again... I'm not going to use this. I want to use this guy. So this is the Sephora Cream Lip Stain. It's essentially a liquid lipstick. This one is in the shade Mandarin Muse, which they don't do anymore, but they do do. And let me go find the shade. So I think the color is called Chili Pepper. Is a scent from the picture. It looks exactly the same. If you have Max Retro Matte Liquid Lipstick in the shade, quite the standout, or even Feel So Grand. Or fashion legacy one any one of those will work as well they're a little bit more red quite the standout is more this kind of color but this is the one i want to use so i'm going to use it because i don't have the actual one that they sell now and i have two lip pencils that i'm going to both use first i'm going to use the la girl shockwave neon lip pencil in the shade outrage super bright neon uh lip pencil but i'm going to use this for most of like my lining and then i may use brick from mac which is a deeper red to just give us a little bit of definition and also maybe knock down how bright the colour might turn out, especially with this pencil. So yeah, we're going to do a bit of a mixture. We're just going to play with it and see how we get on. I'm also kind of filling in the lip as well. It doesn't have to be like perfect, like even the bottom lip is not fully filled in, but just something for everything to cling to. So that's looking a little bit on the kind of curly side because it is such a neon orange lip pencil. So I'm gonna take Brick, which is a red, but it's on the deeper side of red, so I didn't wanna use this on its own. So we're just gonna use this just to give us a bit of definition. Just mostly around the edges. Okay, lips are looking a bit insane, but work with me here. We're, we're gonna get there in the end. So now we're gonna go in with our liquid lip and pop this on top. If you want it to be like super, super in your face neon orange, you can. Because this does go like that, you can see. But I always like to put the pencils down just because I... I just prefer how it looks on me. I think it looks a bit better on me this way. I'm covering right over the lip pencils as well. I am in love with this look. Alrighty guys, so this is how I have finished off our look. I love it. You see me finish it off, but whatever. I love it. This Ritz eyeshadow... Oh, I got this because Beauty Bean uses it and anything Beauty Bean uses, I wanted. Um, and I got that over Black Friday. This is the first time I'm actually wearing it on my eyes. I've swatched it loads of times, but this is the first time I'm wearing it. It's the most sparkly wet looking eyeshadow I think I've ever used. I love the lip. I love how the eyes are. I'm loving these lashes. I'm so surprised at how much I actually really like these. They're so pretty and I'm so glowy. Uh, the freckles again, I still have to get used to a little bit, but whatever. I love it. This has just been a little get ready with me, just chatting a load of crap and also doing a little makeup look. So if you like this kind of video, let me know down below. I'll do more in the future. It's always fun. I always want to pull out some random bits of makeup. That's not to do with a palette or anything sort of theme it's just some random bits i did do a poll for this on my instagram it's linked down below um i took pictures of like some of the products i use for this and then other products i i was going to use for a different look and let my followers pick whichever one and this is the one that they picked they want to see the bronzy eye and orange lip i say bronzy like this is not most people's bronzy this is actually quite cool tone for most people but on my skin it looks quite bronzy and warm so if you did like this video, give me a big thumbs up down below. It's the quickest, simplest and easiest way to give me a little bit of support and also get me around to more videos and let me know you like the video so I'll do lots more videos. Also hit subscribe down below to see more of these Get Ready With Me's if you enjoy them. I'll know after I upload this. And also to see I'm going back to doing palette stuff. Also leave me a comment down below, let me know how you felt about this video. Did you like it? Chatting a lot of crap about random stuff in movies and whatever because I enjoyed it it was fun and I really like this makeup let me know what you think of the makeup as well and I think that's everything so I will see you in the next video guys 